if you are facing an issue where your camera would start spinning automatically or your character would start moving automatically without you doing anything well in this video i'm gonna show you how you can fix that hey guys i'm xenogrid and in this video i'm gonna show you guys how you can fix the camera spinning issue on windows 11. by the way i have a video for this on windows 10 so if you are using windows 10 go ahead and watch that that video might be a little old but that still works and a lot of you guys told me about an issue you guys are facing is that in one game your controller would work totally fine but in another game it would give you issues well i haven't faced that kind of issue personally so i can't give you a proper solution for that but i will give you guys some potential solutions that might work by the way this video is considering that your hardware is not broken i mean you don't have any kind of stick drift issue on your controller so if this video doesn't work for you then it means that your controller has stick drift and well it's time to get a new controller or time to change the analog stick of your controller and with that being said let's begin now there are two types of controller inputs one is x input and another is d input well d input means direct input and is it just me or d input sounds kind of sus like let me just d input into your pc with my controller <laughs> well sorry for that well on bottom, I have a Fantec WGP13 review on channel. Well, this is a X input controller and on top, I have a fake PS5 controller, which is a D input controller. Now, the solution for this problem are same for both controllers, but the options are a little different. So if you know your controller is using X input or D input, then you can skip to the time step down below. So let's start with X input controller. By the way, this works for wired or wireless, regardless of whichever connection you're using. So don't worry about that. So first of all, I'm going to connect the controller to my laptop. Well, the controller is connected. Then you have to go to settings. From settings, go to Bluetooth and devices. Then from here, go to devices. And here, as you can see, we have our controller connected here. Then go to more devices and printer settings then find your controller from here and here you can see I have three types of controller connected here but you might have one or two just make sure that the controller you have selected is the controller that you want to calibrate so go to game controller settings then here as you can see I have my controller here then go to properties then you will get a page like this and any kind of X input controller will give you the same page so the z-axis should be on the middle, x-rotation and y-rotation should also be on the middle. And this x-axis and y-axis should be on the middle as well. If you see any kind of abnormality here, basically I mean your page doesn't look like this, then that means that your controller is not calibrated properly. To calibrate your controller, go to settings. Oh, and also make sure that the controller you have selected is the proper controller by just pressing a button or two. So here as you can see, as I'm moving my buttons and sticks the settings is showing me that kind of input now go to settings from here go to calibrate then hit next next then do as they say so it's basically telling me to take the d-pad and set it to this corner so i'm just gonna do that then this corner then this side then here now after pressing all of the corners as you can see press all of the corners then press the button on the controller so i'm just going to press the button then hit next then here as you can see we have the z axis here z axis or z axis depends on where you're from now if i press on show raw data you will see this huge number like 32768 so the z axis is basically this trigger buttons now if I press the buttons here you won't see any changes the changes is gonna be only on the numbers so basically the z axis should be 32768 then we have x rotation so go ahead and show some x rotation here and that should also be 32768 by the way x rotation means that the right sticks x axis Then hit next again then the same for y rotation now for some reason it's showing me 32767 which basically means that there is a little bit of stick drift issue with my controller and there's nothing i can do about it to be honest 
but as you can see it shows me 49 percent which is like almost accurate and variation of two or three percent is all right then hit next then just finish it and your controller is calibrated properly and there goes our x input controller and as you can see we have the page here then hit apply then ok and you get the drill right now let's do the same thing with the d input controller so for that let's connect it and do it so the method is same for d input controller and first of all you have to connect your controller to your pc then go to settings then go to bluetooth and devices and here as you can see we have our wireless controller connected then hit next then go to devices then from here go to more devices and printer settings then select your controller and for us this is gonna be the wireless controller so i'm just gonna right click on it and go to game controller settings now i currently have two controllers connected on my pc one is the xbox controller i mean basically a x input controller and another one is this one so go to properties of this controller and here as you can see we have four bars here in the x input controller there are three bars in this controller there are four so to make sure that our, we have selected the right controller just press some buttons like this and as you can see it's registering all the inputs then go to settings then hit calibrate then next next and from here follow the instruction so it's basically telling me to press all of the d-pad corner then press a button on the controller so i'm just going to do that then press a button then press the button again now here as you can see we have the z-axis or z-axis now on a d input controller the z-axis should show 128 in 50% so go ahead and press some buttons here and if it goes back to 128 it's totally fine so as you can see if I go ahead and set the z-axis all the way to the right it shows 255 and if I set it to all the way to the left it gives me 0 so 128 should be the normal one then we have x rotation x rotation is basically L2 for this controller then y rotation is gonna be the r2 and then we have z rotation again so we have 128 on the normal value now if we move the right stick you'll see that it goes from 0 to 255 and 128 is basically the middle ground for this which is 50 percent then hit next again then finish and we are done then you can hit apply now after doing this you see that none of this is working properly and your controller is acting more weird than before then go to settings and reset to default it will reset all of your settings that you just did and it will fix all of the changes that you just made so hit apply on this then hit ok and ok and that's pretty much it that's all the solution there is now as i've said earlier if you're facing this issue in one game but not in another well here are some solutions for first you can change the dead zone of your controller so a lot of games gives you the option to change the dead zone and usually it's set to 0.5 so you can change the value to 0.7 or 1 or 1.2 something like that and check out if that works properly for you or not the other thing you can do is verify your game files sometimes it's just the game file issue that gives you this kind of controller problem so you can try fixing that Another reason that this might happen is that one game actually supports that controller and other game doesn't. For suppose a lot of game doesn't support D input controllers but they support X input controller. And a lot of games don't support X input controller but they support D input controller. So what that basically does is that so for suppose you are playing a game like game A, let's say game A supports X input controller and game B doesn't. So you'll see that game A will work totally fine, but game B won't. So I hope you get the idea that the game might be the issue. So well, I think those are the solutions I could give you. And also if this video helps, then consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It will mean a lot to me and see you guys later.